Hi, if you're watching this video, there are good chances that you are either uh, participating in COMET K 2025 Counseling for Engineering Admission or you are a parent of a child who is participating in the counseling. Uh, I am neither a student counselor nor I am connected with any of the colleges uh, nor I am a student as you can see. So why am I doing this video? Well, uh, my son is participating in Comet K counseling this year, that is 2025. And while uh, going through all the data of past years and the data for this year's two rounds of counseling that have already happened, uh, I came upon something that I wish to share with everyone who's participating in the counseling, which I feel uh, would be helpful for them. While doing the choice filling for each of the rounds, we have to uh, rely on some data for us to decide which are the branches, which are the colleges uh, and how do we want to arrange those uh, in our preference list. At the beginning of the counselling, that is round one, uh, we had last year's data and of course there was a mock round before that, so we had that data as well that helped us uh, to an extent for uh, deciding our college preference and branch preferences. Now we are entering round three and subsequently round four. Round two was of course only for KKR students, so that has also happened. And as you know, round three and round four dates have been announced. So what is the data that we should look at now? Should we only look at last year's data or are there any assumptions we can make? So. There's something uh, on this front which I'd like to share in this video. Please watch the video till the end. Well, it always helps to have an estimate of the cutoff that could go for each branch and each college that you have in mind. Uh, of course, one can only guess or estimate, but uh, the closer that estimate is to reality, the better it is for us. Um, so. I looked at a lot of data, I looked at last year's cutoff data, I looked at this year's data as well and uh, looked at various colleges and their cutoffs. And uh, what I found, and this is particularly for uh, CS, that is Computer Science and Engineering and its allied branches, AIML, Blockchain, IoT, etc. and Electronics and Communication. So please note that I'm talking about only these branches and not the other core branches. So as far as these branches are concerned, uh, what I found was that one could sort of predict this year's cutoff if one were to use what I call the 1.5x hypothesis. It is only a guesstimate, it's a hypothesis. Uh, of course, you understand that. But this is a trend that I see uh, emerging this year. Uh, every year is different. So allow me to illustrate uh, with a couple of examples. Let's uh, look at uh, Dayanand Sagar College of Engineering, uh, CS, Computer Science, Core Computer Science and Engineering. So the last year, 2024 cutoff was 5873. So if we, if we were to calculate and predict uh, what would be this year's cutoff after all the rounds, that is round four. So 5873, um, 5873, yes, 5873 into 1.5, uh, which is 8810. So we, we could assume that, you know, the cutoff this year uh, for CS at the Anand Sagar DSC would be maybe between 8k and 9k. Of course, this is an assumption. Let's take another example. Let's look at uh, SIT Tumkur, SIT Tumkur ISC, Information Science and Engineering. So the cutoff last year, 2024, was 2586. 2586 into 1.5, that is 3879. Again, we could probably assume that the cutoff this year after all the rounds would be between 30k and 31k. So how would this help if at all? 
well there could be cases where uh, aspirants are completely ruling out colleges thinking this is out of the reach so this is something that would help you probably include more colleges in your preference list uh, which is always the advisable thing to do even if some colleges seem out of reach uh, do include those uh, in your preference list as long as you would want to take up those colleges and branches uh, do remember that uh, round 4 once you enter round 4 there's no going back uh, if after taking after being allotted a seat in round 4 if you decide not to uh, take up that seat there's a heavy penalty so do fill out your choices very carefully but uh, the whole idea of this exercise is not to exclude colleges but to include more colleges in your list so i'd like to reiterate once again that uh, the, please don't use this hypothesis the 1.5x hypothesis to exclude colleges but use it to include more colleges on your list because many a time we think that okay this branch in this college is out of my reach so i would not include it so do include those colleges uh, and this hypothesis uh, gives you i would say a fair idea of what is within reach so fill out your choices carefully fill out your choices inclusively and take care that you don't include anything that you do not want like i said round four is uh, the zone of no return so wish you all the very best i'm sure all of you would fill out your choices intelligently and carefully and you would land up that dream college and that dream branch that you're looking for all the best thank you